Let's see. What are the 10 things that photographers hate, especially event photographers? What makes us angry? The top 10 things. Number one, you're ready to shoot. You have all your settings lined up. You're waiting for that magic moment. And all of a sudden, a f- guest gets in front of you or gets in front of the action with their f- iPhone, with their f- iPad, and just totally f- the picture up. Right? Mother f- That pisses me off. Right there. That pisses me off. You're ready to freaking shoot the picture? And... uh, Stupid f***ing guest. That's number one. Uh, That angers me. Does that anger you? Put your iPhones away, guest. Let a professional take the pictures. What are you doing? What are you doing with your cameras? Sit down. Have fun. Don't get in our way with your stupid iPhones. Number two, you're at an event. You know, it's break time. You work your ass off and all of a sudden you notice that there's no table for you. You're a working peasant. You don't need a table. What do you need a table for? We're going to eat. You're not going to eat. Photographers don't need to eat. Don't be ridiculous. Photographers don't. What do you need to eat for? You can go all day without eating, right? All night. They have the courtesy not to set a table for the photographer. Everybody else is ready to eat dinner. Hey, oh, well, we didn't think about it. Why do I have to approach the, the, pe- the guest or whoever I'm shooting, the customer? Why do I have to go and say, hey, where, by the way, where are we sitting? You know? Where's the common sense, folks? Where's the common sense? Don't you have common sense to put a table for the photographer crew? For your vendors? And I'm not talking about no freaking vendor meal either. No vendor meal. I don't want no crappy molded sandwiches while everybody else is eating a nice ribeye steak with baked potatoes and you know wholesome vegetables and this and that. I don't want no beat up peanut butter and jelly sandwich wrapped in a plastic for days and a cookie and a water no that pisses me off use some common sense folks set a table for the photographer and if you don't want to set a table see you later we'll be back in an hour don't miss us number three you're about to eat it's break time. You work your butt off again. Dinner time comes around. You're about to eat. As soon as you sit down, some somebody comes over and tells you, oh, can you do this real quick? Can you do that real quick? Whether it's the client or the coordinator comes in and says, oh, I'm so sorry. I know you're hungry. I know you're be- you know, I know you're tired. I know you need a break. Yeah, if you know, why are you asking me to do something? Stupid mother. Don't tell me you're sorry cuz you're freaking not sorry. Don't make shit up. Don't lie to me in my face. You're not freaking sorry. You know? I'm about to eat. Sit down. It's a freaking break. Jeez, we can do this after. You know? That's what I hate. You know? Oh, by the way, can you can you capture this real quick? And then when you go and capture it, what happens? The speeches start. Something now starts. And what happens? You don't end up eating nothing. You don't need, you don't end up eating jack. <laughs> oh. <laughs> God, c- clients or co- or you know, coordinators, whoever you are, have some common sense and decency to understand that we are human. And we need a break sometimes. <laughs> they work you. They work you like a dog. And at the end, they say, hey, by the way, did you eat? No, mother <laughs> I didn't eat. Son of a gun. 
Ah, sorry guys, but I have to tell you what I really hate. What photographers really hate. And I can't tell you this without showing you how much we really hate it. Right? <laughs> Number four. Videographers and their big ass tripods and their big ass cranes in the shot. Their big ass lights. Just screwing the scene up. Boom, they flick the light on and destroys your whole lighting, destroys everything you're envisioning here. And they just, I don't know, maybe they don't know lighting. Maybe they haven't spent the time to understand what real light, lighting and dramatic scenes are. I mean, what what, what is up with this uh, flat light, this harsh light that kills it? And even, I know what you're thinking, I have a flash, I can cut through that. Sometimes that light destroys your flash. I know flash is stronger than whatever lights they use. However, sometimes it just totally destroys everything. So that's what I hate. Videographers, and not everybody, but some, you, you know, learn lighting. Learn drama. Learn the scene. Sometimes you want to capture that, you know, sometimes you want to capture that candlelight. The first dance with the sparkles and the this and that. When you when you turn on that light, it just totally destroys everything. And since we're on the topic of lights, we hate when DJs start messing with the banquet hall lights. The dark light flashes. It just totally kills everything. It totally kills the balance of everything. And I know it's a cool effect for the DJ and the people dancing, but it... It makes the photos look like when you have a bright light in someone's face and you're taking the picture, it's just going to burn it. It's just going to totally destroy the image. So we hate that. And if the banquet hall is conserving energy with dimming the lights all the time, you know what? Don't dim the lights because you want to save energy. You know, keep the lights on, you know. Or at least be consistent so we could adjust our settings accordingly. Don't change it every single time. Number five. You're shooting an event or a wedding. And your second shooter, when you need him the most, your second shooter or your assistant is nowhere to be found. How many times you look around and, you know, you're looking for your second shooter or you're looking for your assistant. They're going to start and the second shooter is nowhere to be found. Where is my second shooter? Why am I paying this guy? Seriously, why? if I'm going to do this all by myself, then who needs a, a second shooter, right? If I'm going to look for you the whole time and call you on your phone. Hey, man, where are you, dude? They're about to start. Or, hey, I need some help here with the bags. Or, hey, I need a new lens. Or your assistant. It's totally mingling with the guests and drinking. And Why am I paying you guys? So photographers really hate that. Where is the second shooter when you need him? Where is my assistant when I need you the most? Right? We really hate that. Number six. You get up early for the gig. Make sure you're not going to be late. You know. You cut your hours of sleep, you get up, get dressed, and you're rushing to get out so you're not late. And what happens? We really hate it. We really hate it when the client is late. You know, we're responsible enough to get there on time. And you're sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting. And how many how many of you guys get the text? When you're sitting there at the location, let's say you're doing a photo shoot at the beach, right? And it's an hour away from your house. You get there. You get to Malibu. You're sitting there. It's time to shoot. The client texts you. We're running late or we're stuck in traffic. Really? Really? So I was responsible enough to take care of all my shit before I head out to the gig. And you weren't responsible enough to get there on time? You text me, oh, we're running late. Sorry. What do you mean sorry? Sorry doesn't do anything for me. Sorry doesn't do shit. Photographers really hate when clients are late. I mean, I understand 10, 15 minutes. That's fine, you know. You know, you're in a busy street city. Everyone's late, right? 
But when you're hour late, an hour and a half late, there was one time where the client didn't show up till two hours late. And I'm just sitting there. And you know what I did? I charged them extra for the hours that I'm just sitting there in my car, on my iPhone, reading the news. I charged them extra. Right? Photographers really hate that. Don't waste our time, clients. Don't waste our time. If there's, cl- if there's traffic, plan ahead. Leave an hour early if you have to. Number seven. We really hate it when we don't get paid, right? We really hate it. Oh, no problem. We'll pay you the day of the event. Don't even worry about it. The event comes around and, oh, you know, I totally forgot. And I know what you're thinking. Why don't you get paid, you know, before, you know, a week before? You should have that in your contract. Well, some of us do. But some gigs, it's last second. Hey, you know, we don't have time to come to your office. We'll pay you that day. Is it cool? Sure. It's a smaller gig. It's a photo shoot. Whatever it is. How many of you guys agree to that? Fine. Just pay me in th- that day. You get there. You take the shots. Time to go home. Oh, you know, that's right. Oh, we didn't know we needed to pay you. What do you mean you didn't know you didn't pay me? Come on. We really hate it when customers act stupid and... You know, with you know, they're just not responsible with the payment. We're not there for our health, guys. We're not there to just to, you know, shoot the shit and have a good time. No. And then there's photographers that accept a certain form of payment. We really hate it when the customer changes that. You know, we give you a discount because we accept a certain form of payment to allow that discount. You know what I'm talking about? And then they pull out a different form of payment. When it comes to paying us, paying the photographer, don't mess around because that'll really piss us off. Number eight. And by the way, this is not in any order. They all piss me off equally. (laughs) But number eight. Bossy clients. Clients that they really think that they know what they're talking about, but they really do not sometimes. Or did you take this? Did you take that? Here, take this. Here, take that. Here, come here. Come take a picture of them. Come take a picture of us. Follow me around. Do this. Do that. Come on, man. That really pisses up. I mean, I understand you're concerned. I understand that you want all the pictures done up right. But ease off on your bossiness. Ease off a little bit. You know what I mean? We don't need, we don't like it when people tell us what to do. I mean, you can tell me what to do and how you want it in a professional, courteous way you know way with manners not hey get this hey get that every second every day you know you sit down come on what are you sitting down for you know what are you sitting down for (laughs) you're not doing your job get this did you get that did you get this and we really hate that that's one thing i really hate you know and if they have bad attitudes at the same time god it just makes you want to just get up and leave right You know what? F this. (laughs) Right? You know, we don't need bossy clients. Just be cool. Be nice to photographers. We're nice. And we expect to be treated like human beings. Just because you're paying us for the services. And by the way, (laughs) I know a photographer that, you know, he charged them. His prices are high. And 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 the groom was really upset that he had to pay to make his wife happy, to pay the package price. And the whole time of the wedding, the groom was just not having it. He was so upset that he had to pay this price to the photographer that he treated him like the whole day. So bossy, bitchy clients get lost. Number nine, clients that are location snobs. <laughs> you know, instead of just hanging out in one location you know uh, orchestrating a nice shot taking your sweet time you know just conducting you know photography and just you know just creating something visually impressive we're driving around the whole day from location to location to location just because the client wants a picture in front of this building just because the client wants a picture in front of the niagara falls uh, we want a picture in front of this one. We want to hit up four, five, six locations. 
and you just end up burning your time, burning your, you know, your nerves, burning your gas, and you don't have any pictures. Location snobs really piss off photographers. Big time. It pisses me off. <laughs> Look, guys, we know what we're doing. We're professional. One, two locations at the most. You don't need to hit up five, six. No need. You're just going to end up pissing the photographer off. We hate that. Location snobs. <laughs> and number 10. Client sees the pictures. Calls you. Where's that picture? How come this wasn't shot? Where's that picture? I'm missing this. I'm missing that. Where were you? How come you didn't get this? That was the most important part of the event. You didn't capture it. I hate that. And especially when they ask you to do something during an event like that, where it's important time, but the client says, hey, come take a picture of this group, but something important is going on here, but you have to be there. And it's like, and then they blame you for not capturing that. Are you remember what you had me do? Come on, guys. Seriously. You know, we, we're only human. We can only be at one place at one time. And sometimes... Things don't get captured. Sometimes, uh, hey, sometimes people with iPhones get in our way and we have to delete that picture. And then all of a sudden, the client doesn't have a picture of the key moment, right? Come on now. I hate that. They call it, hey, is there a reason why I don't have this shot? Is there a reason? What's the reason why you didn't take a picture of this? Oh, because I was just drinking and sitting and partying the whole time. I didn't I hardly took any pictures, right? Where's this? Where's that? Really hate that after the fact, after the event. And by the way, you know, all the other things that were captured were there, were amazing, but they don't they don't mention that. They only mention that one thing that was not there. And they totally dismiss your work because that moment wasn't there. They really hate you because that moment wasn't captured. But everything else, beautiful shots, doesn't matter. That moment wasn't captured. So you must be a photographer. Anyway, guys, those are my biggest, you know, things I hate in the photography business, especially events. And, uh, you know, I thought I'd <laughs> just let you know what they are. So 10 things I really hate in the event photography business. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, if you like what you hear, you like these videos, go ahead and subscribe to this channel, like it, leave a comment. Let me know what you hate. What are the things you hate about the about photography, about clients, about events? Leave a comment down below. I'll appreciate it. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. This is Vahography. I'm Vahog and your rock and roll photographer. We'll see you on the next video. Don't get too upset, guys. Go out there, have fun, and just ignore whatever negative things come at you. You'll do yourself a favor. Rock and roll. What's good, guys? If you want more videos like this, rock and photography content, go ahead and check out my other videos on the screen and subscribe to this channel. And rock and roll.